driving while high. Despite states starting to legalize marijuana, zero out of the 50 states allow you to drive a car while high on any sort of drugs. Even if you have a medical marijuana card, does not matter. In fact, due to the per se laws, you can actually get a DUI for even the smallest trace of marijuana in your bloodstream if it gets to that level. It's not like uh, alcohol where you have to blow a .08 or higher to get a DUI. That's self-explanatory. But what is not known commonly is that you can actually get a DUI, whether it's smoking pot or drinking alcohol, when you're not driving a car. So let me explain. If you are sitting in your car in a parking lot, uh, obviously not in your own driveway because if you're smoking uh, medical marijuana, that's legal. But if you are in a public area, you are sitting in the parking lot, and you are high or drunk and your car is on, you can actually get a DUI even though you aren't moving. Because to a cop, it gives reasonable suspicion in their eyes that you either just were driving before you decided to uh, become under the influence of drugs, or you are about to drive. It is called being in control of the vehicle despite you not actually moving. So seriously, watch out. Don't do any drugs, alcohol, and drive whatsoever. Now this varies from state to state, but in general, if your windshield wipers are on continuously, you have to legally turn on your headlights. It means if it's raining, turn them on. Doesn't matter if it's noon and uh, it's the middle of the day, you gotta have your headlights on. In states where that's not the case, typically the measure is if you have less than 500 feet of visibility, uh, you need to turn your headlights on. So if you're in San Francisco and there's dense fog or something like that, it is illegal to drive without them. For obvious reasons, it increases your visibility, but also it increases uh, the ability of other drivers on the road to see your car and for you to see other drivers on the road to prevent accidents. Turn those headlights on. Your hazard lights are a great thing, whether you're pulled over on the side of the road using your hazards to alert other cars uh, that you're there and to not hit you, or you're pulling up to the curb, letting someone out, and you wanna let everyone behind you know that you're going to be stopping, you're not continuing to move the car. Well, it turns out, in many states, it's actually illegal to use your hazards while you're driving the car. In some states, it's illegal to use it at speeds over 25 miles an hour. In some, it's completely illegal no matter what if the car is moving. And others, it's only legal if you use it in an emergency situation. So I'm going to read off the states which require you uh, to never use your hazards if the vehicle is moving. You can only use it when it's stationary. The states in which it is illegal to use your hazards while moving are Alaska, Florida, Hawaii, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Nevada, New Mexico, and Rhode Island. So if you live there, don't use it unless you're pulled over on the side of the road and it's an emergency. If there is a school bus on the side of the road, loading or unloading, do not pass it. It is illegal. Usually it has flashing lights and a stop sign that folds out that makes it pretty clear, but just in case they forget to do it, do not pass it. Now it's even illegal in states like California to pass a school bus if it's loading and unloading on the other side of the street. So that's something to be aware of. The only time it's legal in California is if you are on a divided highway where there's an actual barrier separating you from the school bus. Seriously, if you speed past a school bus that's unloading children, that is a surefire way to get yourself a huge ass ticket. Obviously, it is illegal to speed, but there is actually a part of the law that states that you can only drive at a reasonable and prudent speed. That means that if there is tons of traffic on the road, or there is heavy rain, heavy fog, or some type of condition that makes it unsafe, you actually can't legally drive the speed limit. You have to drive what is reasonable and prudent. So yes, you could get a ticket for going 25 in a 45 zone if it is snowing so hard the visibility is three feet. So always check your surroundings and be aware. If it feels like you're driving at an unsafe speed even though you're going the speed limit, you probably are and you should slow down. Using your horn for anything other than warning drivers and an impending emergency is illegal. As annoying as it is, if someone is texting on their phone, it's a green light and they're not moving, technically it is a ticketable offense to honk your horn just to get somebody's attention because you're feeling impatient. So for that, 
I'm honking my horn. Just <laughs> Tailgating is illegal and it's also stupid. It's one of the best ways to cause a high-speed accident on the freeway. All it takes is the person in front of you to stomp on the brakes and you guys are both in a world of pain. Now, the tailgating laws are a bit vague, but it is certainly illegal. The laws state that you can only follow at a distance that is reasonable and prudent. So, like the speeding. Um, it's obviously up to the officer to decide that, but if it seems like you're tailgating, you probably are, and you should stop so you don't get a ticket. Running a red light is obviously illegal, and with the abundance of red light cameras, if you get a red light ticket, you are hosed. You're not getting out of it no matter what. In 37 states, you are safe from running a red light if you enter the intersection while it is yellow. In the remaining states, even if it is yellow when you enter, if it turns red at any point that you are in the intersection, it is a ticket. So, to just be safe, if it's yellow, slow down and stop. Obviously, if it is unsafe to stop on a yellow, it's better getting a ticket than getting rear-ended. Driving a Prius. Well, I hope you found this video informative. As a reminder, it is the last day to order a Vehicle Virgin shirt. Link down below at Teespring. Check them out, they're pretty sweet. Please browse our channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.